Oh, I got stuck. <laughs> it did actually fire though, that's pretty funny. So, our project utilizes a copper coil of 22 gauge wire, and when power is administered to that wire, it creates a magnet. As you can see from the diagram, charge is being put into the coil, wrapping around the nail, and magnetizing the nail. So, in a different example, with a capacitor and charge being put into the capacitor, we can control how much power we put into the coil at one time. So, with a fully charged capacitor, when we hit the switch, all that charge shoots into the coil, allowing the coil to be charged for a millisecond and pulling a projectile through it. Okay, this part's kind of dangerous because of the capacitor. Um, one capacitor shock, like if it's fully charged, is near lethal. So, taking off the front part of the camera where the chip is, you have to be really careful about it. Okay. Alright, now if you look at the chip, um, you can see the capacitor right here. That is where all the charge. the ah, hit solder, now. Anyway, the charge is in here. If the flash was still on, that's going to administer a shock if you touch the two leads. So we're going to discharge it now. Okay. It should be fully discharged and the chip should be safe to touch. Uh, you may want to tap it a little bit before to make complete sure, but it, it won't be lethal at this point. So, removing the chip is fairly easy. You're going to take off this little spring here, and you see there's like a clip here on this model, so we're just going to try and push that back as we slide the chip up. Yeah. You can be a little bit rough with it because this copper bar really doesn't do anything. So, Alright, now that we have the chip out, what we want to do is, see this? This is a flash. And we do not need the flash for this project, so we're just going to clip that out. Okay. The flash clipped out, you can just slide it out. There's your little flash bulb. It's not usable at this point, I don't think, so it's just trash now. Um, you want to cut these leads because they get in the way. And this copper bar also gets in the way, so we'll just move it up and cut it off. So now that everything's off, let's talk about it. What you want to do is get your button and make sure your button is good for 3 amps. And you see this switch here? This switch is what allows access for the capacitor to charge. So your coil gun will not work if you do not take that off. And what you want to do is solder the leads together. You could add a switch. In the final coil gun I made, I did add a switch there. It is kind of pointless if you solder it, but I like the switch because it gives a little bit more control. So there, I've soldered it on. Now that switch will stay on, but it also means that turning it off, turning off the coil gun without um, a switch on the battery will be not possible. You, like, you have to remove the battery if you want to turn off the gun. So, let's start wiring our coil. Right, and this giving charge to, allows charge to be given to the capacitor, but we actually need something to give charge to the capacitor, so we need to get the battery. And this is the positive end, this is the negative end. 
So we need to find the negative lead. Which you see, since it hooks around here, it should be right here. Leave it. Oh, let me check. Okay, so that's the yes. Right, so we have our battery case and the battery that we got free from the camera. That was nice of them. We well, usually put that in the We're going to hook these up. So let's get our wire. And now this should work. It is actually working. So you can tell because you can hear um, the humming sound. This is really dangerous to touch now. But if you flip the chip over, the light's on, and that means it's fully charged. And we can load in our projectile and give it a shot. Well, that did not work. I wonder why. It's actually... Oh, Christ! <laughs> So unfortunately the coil gun made in the video does not work, but the one I'm holding in my hand does, and there are two differences. One, the switch on the back that I told you to solder, I instead added my own trigger switch, and that's what that silver trigger switch is. And the positive wire on the battery casing that leads to the battery lead on the chip, I added a switch there to allow easier charge control. And this coil gun is completely functional and will be shown in class.